The oldest bell foundry in the world has been using ancient techniques since the Middle Ages. It takes at least three months to make a bell by hand, and each one is unique. The workshop has survived nearly 1,000 years of wars and hardship, but it's a crisis of faith that's putting pressure on the business today. We went to Agnone in southern Italy to learn how this traditional bell foundry is still standing. The Marinelli family has been running the factory for 26 generations. Armando Marinelli sketches bell designs by hand the same way his ancestors did it. Qui si fanno campane come si facevano mille anni fa. Very large bells are cast in a pit like this, but it rarely happens nowadays. That's because the foundry only operates when there's demand. But the process of making smaller bells is pretty much the same. Allora bisogna immaginare in questo momento tre bicchieri, uno attaccato all'altro, rovesciati. The bottom and the top cup create the shape of the bell. The middle layer looks exactly how the final bell will look, but it's made of clay. So it will eventually be destroyed to make way for the bronze. They start off by building the bottom cup, using bricks and clay. Dobbiamo creare l'anima della campana, che è il profilo interno della campana. It's a painstaking job to make sure the pile is level. Then, a worker slathers it with clay to create the middle cup, or what they call the false bell. A wooden ruler called the strickle sets the exact shape, height, and weight of the final piece. This is the part that will be destroyed later. But before we get there, they have to bake the clay from the inside out until it's solid. While the false bell dries, sculptors prepare the decorations. They can use pre-made plaster molds or cast new ones. They place the pieces of wax on the false bell. Next, they apply more clay to form the top cup, called the mantle. It provides the outside shape of the bell with the wax designs embossed into it. Once this dries, they lift the mantle to expose the false bell. Then it's finally time to destroy it to make way for the bronze. This is what a small-scale fusion looks like. Larger bells need a lot more bronze. Once the metal hardens, they lift the mantle and reveal the final bell. For smaller bells, they break down the mantle by hand. The family's attention to detail is clear when they forge the handle in iron. Finally, workers like Antonio Deli Quadri polish the finished bells until they shine. Siamo una famiglia di collaboratori dei Marinelli da 150 anni. He's been working here for six decades, and at 84 years old, he's technically retired, but he takes pride in tuning the bells. He also leads tours around the workshop. On average, a 100 kilogram bell costs around 3,000 euros. And since it takes months to craft a single bell, they only make a few a year. Quando viene una richiesta dall'estero, dall'America, e ci chiedono una campana nel giro di 15 giorni, un mese, purtroppo noi dobbiamo dire non è possibile. Noi con il tempo non potremo mai essere competitivi. The Marinellis still face competition from other foundries who have modernized. Many rely on heavy machinery and reusable molds. Armando says he could modernize like this too, but only as a last resort. Creare un pezzo meccanico sarà veramente, non dico un fallimento, un fallimento proprio di, sotto un punto di vista diverso, quello della soddisfazione che può dare una campagna di questo. When the family business started, Bells had a very important role in mass communication. Allora, immaginate le campane senza la corrente elettrica, senza gli orologi. È una funzione fondamentale. La campana era la sirena, l'allarme, c'era un incendio. Today, Marinelli bells ring from iconic places, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Vatican. And it's this historical connection to the Catholic Church that has kept the foundry running for so long. The church has accounted for about 90% of the foundry's business in recent decades. In 1924, 
Pope Pius XI granted the Marinellis an official recognition. This is the stemma of the Vatican, which was given by the Pope, and the stemma of the Pontificio, this one, with the Marinelli, Agnone, Morise. And they've cast many celebratory bells over the years, like the one for Pope John Paul II's Millennium Jubilee. Ci emozioniamo sempre perché è un'emozione che va oltre ogni pensiero di, di piacere. Non si può dire quello che uno prova con la sensazione di questo, questo santo che è venuto a casa tua. But the foundry has also seen desperate times throughout its long history. Nazi troops occupied it in World War II. Penso sempre ai miei nonni che hanno vissuto la guerra, un periodo bruttissimo perché si era fermato tutto, rompono le campane per fare e allora diventano i cannoni. And then a fire in the 1950s destroyed the original foundry and many of its historical records. Now in the 21st century, Armando was looking for ways to keep the business afloat. La passione che ci fa fare tutto in vista della nostra fonderia. Adesso che la Chiesa sta soffrendo un po' di, di questa, della fede, dei, dei fedeli che, posso, che seguono la Chiesa. Christianity's popularity is declining in many countries across the world, especially places like the U.S. and Western Europe that have historical Christian majorities. With fewer churches being built, demand for bells is low. Also, quality bronze bells like the Marinelli's can last centuries. So the family is diversifying. They've created a museum inside the foundry to attract more tourists. They also take some lucrative sculpting jobs. Armando's son, Ettore, is one of the foundry's sculptors. Io sono la 27esima generazione e tutte queste generazioni sono, mi pesano molto sulle spalle. Essendo giovane, cioè la mia mente spazia anche altre, altre cose più innovative. Ovviamente adesso ci sono i computer, le stampanti 3D, cioè io non è che non ci ho pensato a queste cose, ci, ci penso tutti i giorni. È un po' anche una paura di mandare eh, all'aria mille anni di storia. So for now, he's sticking with making all these designs by hand. Tra me, mio fratello e cioè, ho altri due fratelli, il figlio di Zio Pasqualino, la figlia di Zio Pasqualino, sicuramente la ventottesima generazione penso sia salva. Eh, poi sono più preoccupato per la ventinovesima, trentesima. Overall, the family's focus is on creating art. So the Marinellis have faith that the timeless nature of their work will help them survive. La campana in sé per sé è quell'oggetto che ci fa compagnia, con i suoni perché li fa momenti lieti e purtroppo momenti tristi. La campana ha sempre eh, dato un senso alla vita dell'uomo.